In general sonography, you can uh, examine things such as the abdomen, the pelvis, um, the neck. Um, we do a variety of um, vascular studies involving carotid arteries, leg veins, musculoskeletal, and obstetrics, of course. I really enjoy the fact that we get to be both detectives and artists. I think that's what makes me really passionate about ultrasound in general. And what I mean by that is that we get to play detectives where we're actually looking for pathology and we get to create images where we can actually display that pathology using ultrasound. What I love about general sonography is the investigative nature of our job. We perform a variety of exams on different body parts and vessels in the body and um, it just makes you think and I love working with people. No two days are the same. Every morning you wake up, you go to work and every exam is different and every patient's different. What I love about general sonography is the variety of cases we get throughout the day. I could be scanning an abdomen um, followed by an obstetrical case, followed by a vascular study. There's so much variety in general sonography throughout the day. Uh, there's lots of opportunities to work in both hospitals and private clinics, but you may even take a role in industry, possibly working in research or even in applications or sales. So as a general sonographer, I think you need to be very dynamic and um, adaptable because we're scanning, of course, all different parts of the body. So uh, throughout the course of the day, you might see, you know, something related to the abdomen, next thing it's gynecology, next thing it's obstetrics, maybe next thing is a thyroid. So you have to be very flexible and just really be able to think on your feet and just adapt to that next patient that's going to need something totally different. I think sonography is a unique profession because it's one of the few imaging modalities that is totally operator dependent. What I mean by that is that um, you are responsible for your own work. So when you are assessing a patient and you're looking for pathology, if you happen to miss it, you've missed it. And there's a responsibility associated with that, and I think people need to recognize that. But to me, that's the investigative and fun part of the job. The personality types that make good general sonographers are people that are inquisitive, that like to investigate things, that are curious about things. They're curious about anatomy, physiology, um, want to piece it all together and come up with an answer for what is going on to cause the symptoms that the patient's having. They have to be able to put a patient's uh, needs first and put them at ease and gain their trust while they're working with them. Um, you need to be a multitasker, work quickly and efficiently um, in a variety of environments, be very adaptable. Um, you have to be able to work in stressful situations. I think general sonographers need to be adaptable. They are people that can think on the fly and on the spot in order to put the clinical history together with the imaging findings. And also, these are people that have a thirst for lifelong learning and, and also good team players working with uh, the larger health community together to try and come to a solution to achieve the best diagnosis for the patient. The hardest part of a general sonography's job is um, probably the time constraints we work with and yet uh, the workload aspects, the ergonomics of the job. We are very prone to repetitive strain injuries so we have to constantly be aware to avoid such things. I think the hardest part of being a general sonographer is maintaining a professional boundary Patients often want to know the results of their exams, but that's really beyond our scope of practice. So you have to find a way to make the patient feel heard and listened to, but without divulging too much of the diagnostic information that's really up to the doctor to give the, that result. So that can be an awkward situation when a patient does ask you for the results and you're really not able to, to give those to them. The challenges that we face when working as a general sonographer is a lot of times patients come in, they're upset, they're discouraged, um, and they're not sure, they're frightened about what's going to go on in their health care. So the challenges of dealing with their emotions and being supportive with also trying not to take things too personally because it can be hard for us going through the day when we empathize with our patients. 
Sometimes it's not always good news for these families. Oftentimes you think, oh, it's, it's a happy time, but it's not always a happy time. It can be very emotional and um, it can be bad news for people. And so that, that can be challenging to work with patients in that kind of a situation. Having good dexterity as a sonographer is very important because you have to do a lot of fine motor um, movements with your hands while you're scanning. So any wrist injuries, shoulder injuries would prevent you from doing such a job. Um, but more importantly, you really need to have a good sense of um, spatial orientation because when you're working, you're scanning and thinking in 3D, so to speak. You have to know your cross-sectional anatomy very well and be able to formulate um, your findings based on what you're seeing. So 3D is extremely important. Having um, excellent hand-eye coordination is key. It's all about um, being able to see what's happening on the screen and realizing how your movements with the transducer are affecting the image. So hand-eye coordination is probably the most important part of what I do. Uh, in general sonography, you can perform abdominal uh, scans. That includes like looking at your liver, your gallbladder, or kidneys, but also obstetrical, looking at the uh, developing fetus, and uh, also uh, gynecological scans, looking at the uterus and ovaries. We also perform vascular studies as well, which means that we look at your carotid arteries and your leg veins, uh, even small parts, so we can look at the thyroid or breast. The skills that a person requires to be successful in a general sonography program include uh, the ability to multitask, the ability to manage people, patients in difficult situations, good 3D spatial awareness, and the ability to problem solve because no two cases are the same and we have to be able to work through each individual different patients' um, previous history and how to move forward to get the proper diagnosis. Uh, not only are we looking for well-rounded candidates who have the ability to um, use their spatial skills and um, their ability to see images in, in both two and three dimensions, but also they have to be very personable because it's important to not forget that we are working with patients and also members of the healthcare team. So you have to be able to uh, get along with a, a variety of different people uh, within the area that you're working in. You need to be able to uh, work in uh, a stressful environment at times because there's a heavy course load and uh, you need to yet you have a balanced life so get a chance to work out and things like that. You need to be able to put in time after hours for uh, extra practice in the lab environment, for instance. And um, you need to be adaptable. You need to be able to do different things at different times, involving different people, working with instructors, various students, um, and uh, be a good multitasker and problem solver. I think general sonography is a very unique profession in that um, you get to uh, be both a detective and an artist within the profession. And what I mean by that is that you're a detective where you're given a, a requisition which tells of a patient's clinical history and it's your role to actually explore that patient's body with ultrasound in order to find the pathology or confirm normalcy of that patient. And then uh, the other part of it as well too is to present those findings to the radiologist and um, also, you're being part of the healthcare team and, uh, you know, to try and um, make sure that, uh, you know, you're getting the, the best care for that particular patient. Sonography is a unique profession because out of all of the imaging modalities, we're one of the ones where we are primarily the eyes for the doctor. In a lot of imaging modalities, there is a standard set of images that are required. And although in sonography we do um, also take a standard set of images, we're also scanning and assessing through the patient. So if we are not taking the pictures and in the appropriate place, and if we are not assessing and seeing the, the structures of within the body and we miss things, the doctors are also gonna miss those things. I think the hardest part of general sonography is keeping aware of your body's ergonomics. Uh, certainly repetitive strain injury is certainly a concern within our profession and making sure that we're scanning in a safe and comfortable fashion is really important to having a long and successful career. When you graduate, um, you, you're, you have a certain level of skill but the learning never stops. You hone your skills 
through the years and so there's always always something to learn I think one thing that's important is um, never to stop learning and always be able to ask your colleagues for help if you think you know it all you've probably it's time to retire. <laughs> um, we're never done learning. You always need to be open to the possibility of learning more. Each case is unique. You'll see something new every day when you're when you're working as a sonographer. It can be difficult to be a proficient sonographer, but I think the important thing is to really have a strong knowledge base about your anatomy, your pathology, etc. You need to be able to do multiple things at the same time, meaning you have to be able to assess the patient, you have to be able to still work the machine, you need to be able to liaise with your patient in a manner that puts them at ease. Uh, you have to work with different patients too. Some patients have limited mobility, um, they come from different backgrounds, they may not be able to speak English. Uh, so there's a lot of challenges with respect to the job, but I think if you know your stuff and you're good with people, um, you can get through just about anything. But the key is to be adaptable, because every situation is different, every patient is unique, the inside of a patient is unique. So I think that is the key.